Have you seen the commercials about 5G where every telco provider is claiming that they have the nation's fastest network? I get a lot of questions about 5G networks. At Digicert, I work with telecommunications companies and device providers, application providers on these kinds of systems. What's really interesting about 5G and what's happening with these telcos is that when we started back in 1980 with 1G networks, we were doing things at about two kilobits per second, not a whole lot. As we're moving forward into 5G, it's exploding. We're now getting into 10 gigabits per second plus, depending on how this is deployed. We're not even sure where the speed limit is going to stop at. That explosive growth of bandwidth can only be powered by the services behind 5G. And so let's talk about what that means behind 5G and where security overlays into this. We're at a key time as 5G is starting that we can weave security into this fabric right now. From the tower, the 5G tower, we've all seen these, right? With the little radio signal antennas on top for wireless. That tower behind it is connected to a data center. That's, that's the backbone, that's the 5G core. That's what the telecommunications provider is sending out. But before we get into the, the data center, let's look at the devices over here. We are seeing a world now where in, in this space, we have um, all these use cases. We have remote surgery, real-time interactive event streaming. Um, we have connected cars, we have uh, wearables, we have a connected factory, all these systems that have extremely real-time data and high volume all working together over this network. When we hear these commercials about 5G, we're talking about from the tower to these devices. In this, this relationship, we have a broadcast of a 5G signal, but we still don't have all this bandwidth we're talking about yet, right? We, we don't have that deployed because that's on the back end. So securing these devices as they operate and connect to this network and their data, completely important. What is next in this value chain is the applications over here. When we look at the applications, we have the, the cloud, really. We have, in order to reach this bandwidth, very, very, very scalable applications, right? All these digital applications uh, that are using cloud-native architectures. That means they're very horizontally scalable in their data centers, uh, and they can be deployed out to match the needs of whatever the device and services that's using it. These applications, as they're being deployed out, are back-ending these services, as well as providing all of the security around the data and the interaction with the systems that are connected to it for that provider. Think of databases or user management and things like that. So these applications, as they're scaling and as, as more bandwidth is being used by connected devices and they need to scale, where are they scaling? They have to scale up in the backbone in that data center. And so this is really where 5G is at right now. The telecommunications providers are working on this component of the system. And what they're trying to do is allow these applications to scale with all of these devices being connected there and enabling the data center to do it. This digital transformation is not unlike the cloud transformation that an enterprise goes through. They have a data center connected through this fiber, and let's just say this is the data center. In traditional models for 4G networks and below, the provider owned the data center. They managed the data center. They had the physical building. They had all the servers. They had the networks. They had everything. But now, in order to scale these applications and, and support these cloud-native applications, they need to be able to use cloud applications and, and, and other service providers to provide the bandwidth for their applications. That means now as they're going into these virtual data centers, they have physical security that is not under their control. This is a security camera, right? They, they don't see who's entering the building. Somebody else is controlling it. They don't know who's going through the door to get into that building. They may have network cages in that building around their data center. This, you know, this box here uh, may be their rack of servers, and on those servers are their applications. That's the cloud, right? Their application that's running. They, that may not be under the control. That's in the control of and being operated on somebody else's cloud. When that security model shifts from the telco managing all that to a cloud, 
the perimeter of their security infrastructure shifts too. And so now their concerns for security need to be addressed. And this is where we're helping telecommunications companies utilize PKI to address those things like the security cameras, the doors, the gates, uh, the cages, the applications running on them, the uh, containers as they're horizontally scaling. And that gives the bandwidth so that it can come from the, the 5G backbone to the towers to get all of those devices able to operate and run and scale out using all the services for the 5G connected world. The, these sorts of communications require tremendous amount of data, as you can imagine. And the security aspects behind it is really what DigiCert is trying to help all of these providers from the onset make secure. So when you think about 5G networks and you think about the backbone, the devices, and the applications that are running them, we are now in a very unique position that we can explore security and build it in at the start. So we can have a highly trusted 5G ecosystem into the future.